Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in North Carolina, as you can see. I've actually been here for about a week now. It's weird being back here because like this is where this is where I started like TikTok. It's literally in this room. We're gonna be filming a get to know me Q and A, answering your most asked questions that I get asked all the time. First question I get asked all the time: Are my eyebrows tattooed? No, I oof. I feel like that would hurt. Like getting- no, no way. This is what I use for my brows. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And you just like take a brush and you like fill it in. I use brow pomade because it's thicker. I feel like I can get a fuller looking brow than taking like a pencil that's very light to do. So this is what I use on my brows. Question number two, do I use mascara? Not right now. I love wearing mascara. Mascara is like something so easy and simple to throw on and leave the house and you look like put together. During allergy season, pollen, summertime, ragweed seasons, and like at the fall, the early fall, my allergies affect my eyes the most. So my eyes get really itchy and then I'm constantly rubbing them, trying to get rid of the itch or like rubbing them because it feels like something's in them. Just like I don't know how to explain it. I rub off my eyelashes. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I never really like, girl like no, <laughs> but it does for me. Like my eyelashes just go away. I do take a uh, Zyrtec or I'll take Benadryl. I, like I take allergy meds, but whew, when it's pollen season, it's pollen season. <laughs> Number three is do you chew with your dentures in? I do, but I have to chew differently like i have to chew weird <laughs> you have your dentures in dentures are not permanent so dentures you can take them out you can pop them in whatever uh you can use adhesive that's what i use just so i have the security like it's not gonna go flying out of my mouth when i'm talking but with dentures you have to chew on both sides at the same time which it, mentally it kind of messes with you because you're so used to like chewing on one side or chewing on the other side but with dentures you have to chew on both sides if you chew on one side your other side is gonna like pop up i don't know it just kind of like lifts the adhesive on the other side so i i do chew i just have to chew very carefully and then i also when i eat with my dentures in i have to have a drink that has a straw let me explain so your dentures on your top has like that top plate. I don't know how to explain it. Like if y'all see my dentures on TikTok, I'll take them out and I'll show y'all. But that top plate that just sits on the roof of your mouth. When you go to swallow, sometimes food will get stuck. Like it's not stuck in your throat. It's just stuck on the top plate. So when you drink through a straw, it kind of like forces the food to go back and not like stay there. So that's something that I like really struggled with when I first started eating because I was telling my dentist I was like I feel like I'm choking but I'm not choking because it's not here it's here they were like yeah just drink through a straw like you'll be fine <laughs> another question I get asked is have I noticed fewer breakouts since getting my teeth done and I don't know if y'all can see like right here and it's kind of right here I'm wearing makeup if you go watch my TikTok you'll see my skin without makeup and I don't, I don't know if my acne had anything to do with my teeth because I still break out now. Noticing fewer breakouts, I would think in a sense of when my skin was like really bad and I was breaking out like right here, but I had cleared that months, bef months before I got my teeth on. So I don't know if they have anything to do with each other. I don't know if they do for me, I don't know. Number five, how are your gums now? So my gums for the most part, are pretty healed you can't even see like the incisions uh when i got my stitches out you could still see it but like that was months ago when i got them out and honestly now like they're they're okay like i still have the little bone spurs little bone pieces that just kind of poke through I have them less and less as time goes on but sometimes i do get like a really sensitive one like i have one i think like right here at the front i think that's where it is can't tell with the denture in a couple of them will come in and they're just like irritating because they hurt number six is are the dentures comfortable now i will say when i first got them okay after the extractions 
when I was wearing the dentures, they were comfortable. And everyone was like, you're not supposed to wear them. As soon as you get extractions, like you're supposed to wait. I got immediate dentures. So they took all my natural teeth out and they shoved the dentures right in. And they felt like a band-aid. Like, especially when it was cold outside and it was like 20 degrees outside. It was really comfortable to wear to avoid the sensitivity of like the cold air or cold food or like whatever. And then over time, they were kind of starting to be a little uncomfortable, but that's because I was still healing. And then I got what's called a soft line. So, so hard to explain because I'm wearing them, so I can't show you. The soft line, so this is the denture. The soft line goes like in the denture where you would like put it in and it would push against your gums. That's where the soft line goes. And that feels like a pillow that feels so good when you first get it. And the soft lines are temporary. So you have to go like, it depends on the person. I'm going to have to go soon. And I got it like almost a month and a half ago. So soft lines are great. Don't fight them. They're great. <laughs> Number seven is what made you want to start TikTok, social media? I have always loved filming like filming videos editing videos the process that goes into filming a video like i i love this i don't know how to explain it i genuinely love it so much like if fuck i don't know i've never been camera shy i've always been the one in group photos to make like the ugliest face possible like i don't know so when tiktok first started tiktok was dancing fun fact about me your girl could not dance at all. When I went to prom, I did not dance. I stood at the food table and I ate the food the whole time I was there. <laughs> I did not dance. And I was like, no, like I, there's no way I can make TikTok dancing videos. And then TikTok started becoming like people would post gaming, cooking videos, get ready with me, hauls, like things like that. And I was like, ooh, like that I can do. I can do that. So I started TikTok was it 2022? I was trying to think because it was before I moved to Virginia last year and then I was still here. So I think it is 2022. I, like I said, I love filming. I love talking. And then TikTok is very short form. So the most that you can post on TikTok is 10 minutes. Instagram is really short. Instagram, I think, is a minute and a half that you can post on like a reel. And then TikTok is 10 minutes and then YouTube is however long you want your video to be. I love, I, I love this. Like this is my hobby. This is, this is something I look forward to doing every day. And I love doing it. I can sit and edit for hours and hours and never, never get bored. I mean, I'll get like a headache cause I was looking at my phone screen for so long, but it's not like I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'm bored. Like, no, never, not with this. I get this question a lot. So the viral video I had on TikTok that I think is at 35 million views, it was a video of me like, you know, with my teeth, trying to brush them, everything like that. People were asking what was my reaction to my most viral video. Y'all, I didn't even really have a reaction. So I posted it like at 8 o'clock. It was like 8 p.m. one night and I wasn't originally going to post it. Like I was just recording myself doing it just to help myself follow through and do it because I was getting so much anxiety even before I started recording and filmed it and then I was like I was thinking if this video could help somebody why not just post it like because originally I was not going to I was like fuck no I, I'm not on the internet I was like absolutely not and then I posted it and the views started skyping high rocketing like it was crazy i think within the first day it had a million views like the view it just there was no stopping it and then the next day i had like looked and it was at three million and then it went to five million then 10 million then 15 million then 20 million and now it's like i said now it's at like 35 million i think and that's crazy like it's crazy how not just tiktok but social media in general like Things can get around on social media and it's insane. I remember people were tagging me on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter, but people were telling me that my video went viral on Twitter. I didn't even post it. Somebody else had posted it. And then it went viral on Facebook. And 
I don't, did I post it on Instagram? I don't remember if I posted it or if somebody else posted it, but then I started seeing on my For You page, um, people were stitching my video and it's like, <laughs> fuck. I don't know, it was actually insane. My DMs were like flooding with so many messages, good, bad, rude, nice, didn't matter. But the amount of people that video helped made it worth posting. Like, I had people reaching out to me all over the world being like, my teeth do the same, my mom struggles with this, my grandparents struggle with this, my brother struggles with this. Like, it was insane how many people reached out to me saying they struggled with it, it helped them. Like, it's amazing, honestly. It's crazy, but it's amazing. Comment below questions and we can do like another part two Q&A video. I love filming Q&A videos because I can literally just sit and talk. And that's all I want to do in my life is just sit and talk. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day.